It's the old story about five frogs sitting on a log. Coach David Bennett is a Carolina guy through and through. In the early 2000s, Coach David Bennett would coach Catawba College, all right, a team that no one's ever heard of playing a D2. They actually had a pretty good year this past year, though. Soon he would upgrade. 2003, he would coach a brand new football program located 15 minutes from Myrtle Beach, donning the teal and black Coastal Carolina, who's recently rose to prominence. All right? But back in the day, if you would look at this team, nothing much would meet the eye. Right? New team, running an option, figuring things out. But when you delve a little deeper, you'll see a team that started off extremely strong under an unusual coach and got the attention of people through a viral video I'm sure you've seen. Yeah, all crazy. And I told our players, we need more dogs. Bo's barking in the back. I have to go shut Bo up. Mel's like, what's going on? I said, it's a cat in the house. Cat in the house? I said, yeah, there's a uh, It's in Australia. It's in Germany. My wife talked to somebody in Germany. Yeah, you know what? I got to spend time talking with uh, yesterday, uh, sports talk radio out of Australia. Tell me about on the blog, on the blog. Who's on the blog? Who's on the blog? This viral video would come a couple years after the main successes Coach David Bennett would have at Coastal Carolina, uh, when his team unfortunately was on a little more of a downfall. All right? And David Bennett became well known uh, for talking about cats and dogs rather than coaching college football, and quickly, also due to the lack of performance from the Coastal Carolina football team, uh, he would be let go of his job. But let's look at a couple more of those uh, press conferences because, man, under the surface, David Bennett is a great character and one we miss in college football. This guy would be a sensation with the likes of Jason Brown and other notable coaches well-known for their coaching ability and their personality. He missed out. He would be fantastic in today's era. But the important part of this video and what I'm trying to lead to here is David Bennett was a little more than just a wild personality. Underneath, if you looked a little deeper, David Bennett was a great man, right? He was heavily faithful in an area with a lot of folks that talked and sounded like him, and a lot of people looked up to him, including Mike Tolbert, who would later go on to a Super Bowl, unfortunately not win with the Carolina Panthers. Uh, him and a lot of other alumni were incredibly dismayed whenever David Bennett was released as head coach. This, if it's a slow media day and, and we say something that's good, that's, that's, that's the Holy Spirit taking it. If it's bad, it's me messing it up. David Ben was not just a good man and a good coach, but he's also someone who's a little bit of an innovator. Here he's talking about the RPO 10 years for it to become popular. He's on the five technique. Aramis can run the ball or he can throw the ball. Over here to our X receiver. Uh, good job blocking by Jamal Boswell. He throws it to Matt Hazel. Matt accelerates great right here. Cuts inside of him. There's one other key thing that gets overshadowed when you look at David Bennett's career just off his viral videos and his uh, sound bites from press conferences, his propensity to produce good players. Jermaine Gresham, Tyler Thigpen, Mike Tolbert had all gone through this Coastal Carolina program. In addition, if you look at many clips that are still up, he has a fantastic relationship and a deep respect for the players that came through his program. All right. I really think that the firing of David Bennett was not just one incident for one school, but it kind of acted as a hallmark for all of college football into the shift between an old school coach who's there to coach his players and spread faith and someone who's there to operate what's really more of a business. And I'll show you an example of that in just a second. I a player to come to Coastal. I remember you ma uh, majored in what, computer science? Computer science and business management. Yeah, and the guy that, uh, one of the guys, I couldn't understand what he was saying, but he told me on the bridge one day behind the Wall College of Business, he said, Coach, you're going to bring football players like this here to Coastal? Bring as many of them as you want. After David Bennett's tenure was over, Coastal Carolina hired Joe Mogla, who was a former CEO of TD Ameritrade, and it really helped boost their program, but it definitely was a shift from the old school coaching ranks. Go Texas, sporting this lady right here on my arm in my jeans and boots. You understand? And I'll take her and we'll walk right down and be as proud as anybody. <laughs>